Uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the elders for preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And I say Shalom to your Akim out there. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out. In regards to the uh, markets have uh, crashed today, I believe it had a uh, four day, a uh, four straight day uh, gains in the positives category. Now, as of today, the uh, markets crashed to like a uh, negative 198 of the Dow Jones and the S&P 500. And it reads, this is uh, published by Brian Evans and Atana Tayana. Mitchell from the CNBC.com was published by them of this news article. And this was last updated Tuesday, April 4th, 2023 at 4.26 p.m. Eastern Time. And it reads, stock close lower Tuesday, Dow Jones and the S&P 500 snap a four-day one-inch grip as economic worries loom. It says the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell nearly 200 points on Tuesday as traders exceeded a spike in oil prices and what that could mean for the global economy. The Dow Jones dropped uh, 198.77 points or 0.59% to close at 3, I mean 33,402.38. The S&P 500 declined by 0.58% to end the session at 4,160. Both index and snap a four-day winning streak. The NASDAQ composite slipped 0.52%, closed at 12,126.33 points. The market's loss followed the latest job openings report. In February and November, of available positions dropped below 10 million for the first time in nearly two years, a sign of once hot labor market supporting the economy is starting to slow. There's still plenty of job open relatively to the underemployment, said Ed Yerding, a president of Yerding Research. The market is very sensitive to any minor challenges in the direction that they don't want to see. To be sure, markets have been resilent as of late, with the major averages rising even when faced with persistent inflation and bank crisis and higher rates. So this is a data statistic of the S&P 500 job 23.91, which is uh, negative 0.58%. Resilience is a good word, said Jillian Emmanuel, Senior Manager Director at Everscore ISI. The bottom line is that the economic forward-looking backdrop continues to soften even as a present condition to 2 to 3% of the GDP in one quarter remaining strong set against our already defense positioning stock remaining deadlock with 38,000 to 42,000 range. This week, the energy markets became another uh, potential source of uncertainty after a o OPEC Plus announced it was slashing output of 1.16 million barrels of oil per day on Monday. West Texas, and where the future has the biggest daily gain in nearly a year on the news. Sir, they come out and come over here and talk to you. You ain't got talking to me about nothing or whatever you ain't gonna do. That ain't got nothing to do with me. And when I leave this for the next year, I'm going way out somewhere. Look at that. I ain't got nothing to do with that in the club. That ain't my business. I'm trying to get Cullen to stay in. Cullen don't want to stay over here. I can't tell no grown ass woman what to do. Hence, you know that. Cullen gonna do what Cullen want to do.